Hello balloon artist. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute gnomes. I've been making so many gnome designs recently. I thought I'd share this quick design with you. So I recommend you watch through the video and then go and grab your balloons and we can make it together. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. Inflate a white five inch round with five strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. One, two, three, four, five, okay? You can let out some of the air. Quite a lot of the air. So we want a bubble that's perhaps about three and a half inches or so. Tie a soft knot, by which I mean don't pull the knot tightly and then you can roll the knot along the neck of the balloon towards the nozzle. So we can do this with the balloon. Okay, so it's nice and squishy. Do the same thing with a five inch round. I'm using red. One, two, three, four, five. Take the balloon straight off the hand pump, otherwise the balloon will deflate while it's on the hand pump. You will lose air through the body of the pump. So we want to let some of the air out here. Again, to a similar sort of size, but don't worry too much. Uh, this doesn't have to be exactly the same size as the white five inch round. Again, tie a soft knot. So don't pull the knot tightly, roll that neck, sorry, roll that knot along the neck until it's close to the nozzle. And then you can squeeze the air into the uh, top, into the neck of the balloon. At the base of the red balloon, squeeze a little bubble. So first of all, you want to push some of the air into the neck of the balloon and then aim for that spot where the latex is a little bit darker, a little bit thicker, and then just twist a small bubble, okay? So that's what you've got. Hang on to that between your ring finger and your little finger and then do the same thing with your white balloon. So squeeze some of the air into the neck, twist off a little bubble. Don't worry if it's not the same size as the red bubble, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so that's what you've got. And then we're going to twist these two bubbles together. So just wrap them around one another a few times, just to connect them. Okay, so we're gonna have both bubbles in the back here. Inflate a five inch round, I'm using red, with two strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. Tie a soft knot. Roll that knot along the neck towards the nozzle. So again, we can do this and make another one of these. This time, we're going to squeeze off a little bubble to the side of the balloon. Okay, so again, push the air into the neck and just twist off a little bubble. Okay, might take a bit of practice. Hold on to that between your ring finger and little finger. And do the same thing with the other five inch round. So just squeeze some of the air into the neck, twist off a little bubble. It doesn't have to be the same size as the other one. And just wrap those two bubbles together, okay? So we just wrap them around one another few times just to connect okay so that's what you've got take hold of these knots and nozzles and tie them together okay so just pull them together pass one neck underneath okay pull them together and then tie So pass this part underneath one of the bubbles here. Okay, so just push one of the bubbles through and then wrap those two bubbles around one another again, just to secure everything in position. Okay, so this is what you've got at the moment. Take a five inch round black and inflate with one stroke of the hand pump tie a knot, okay? And this time I'm not worried about it being a soft knot. You know, you can pull that one quite tightly. And we're going to split this five inch round 
in half. So you're going to put your hands, one hand on this side of the knot, one hand on the other, and then we're going to rotate our hands in opposite directions and split this bubble very approximately in half. Okay, so just wrap that around. Okay, and twist. Okay, so hang on to that and take hold of those two bubbles and just bring one of those little red bubbles up in between the two black and then around. Okay, so that's what we have at the moment. Two little, oops, <laughs> two little feet and two little bubbles in the back. And then you can take hold of the end of the beard and pull that behind the black feet round into the back and just wrap around into those two little red bubbles. Inflate a white, 260. I've got a tail of about four fingers or so. Soften the balloon, just let a little bit of air out and tie, okay. And then we're going to make a loop of about three fingers or so, three to four fingers and pass that knot and nozzle through. That's just going to help ensure that bubble doesn't, that loop doesn't come undone. Give your balloon a little squeeze and then another loop of a similar size. So just check that they're similar and then wrap that knot and nozzle around again to secure that in position. We're going to use this bit of excess here to attach these cheeks, these whiskers to the gnome's head. So take hold of that excess, pull it around the back of your sculpture, wrap it in to those two bubbles at the back there, okay? So just wrap around a few times. Okay, so that's what you've got at the moment. And move this to the back of the gnome's head, okay? So that the white 260 is poking out the back and just really soften that, give it a stretch because it needs to be very, very soft for this next section. I'd be so grateful if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Making YouTube videos can be quite a lonely thing to do. So I absolutely love it when I get a comment, when I get a like and a new subscriber. It just, it keeps me motivated. So thank you so much. I'd really appreciate it. Inflate a blush or a mocha or a Chocolate brown, 260, with just a little bit of air. We're not going to use all of this. Wrap the knot and nozzle into those whiskers a few times, okay? And then make a soft bubble. So I've squeezed the balloon there to make it soft. I'm twisting off a bubble that is a couple of fingers or so, two, two and a half fingers. And then I'm going to bring that down here, pull it into the back, and then wrap that 260 around the bubbles there. Okay, and then we can snip off the rest of this. Let the air down and tie. Okay, and you can just wrap that around a little bit more just to lose that excess. So this balloon needs to be very, very soft for this next section. Okay, so you're bringing it from the back, round the front, over the top of the nose. Squish it down. And then wrap into these bubbles here, okay? So it's really soft and squishy, and then just wrap it into the back here. Okay, and you can break off the rest of this balloon, but save it, because we're going to use what's left for the little pom-pom for the hat. If you find that the hat is sticking up a little bit, then you just need to adjust things a little bit. You may need to 
push the whiskers forward a little bit or you may need to push them back. It just depends um, on your particular uh, gnome and how large the whiskers are, etc. But you just need to maneuver it a little bit. I haven't got enough balloon left to make the pom-pom for the hat so I'm just going to inflate another balloon if you have got enough balloon left then just use that little bit of scrap that we saved okay so give your balloon a squeeze and we're going to make a series of loop twists uh, that's about three fingers or so but these don't have to be the same size so don't worry about that I'm just wrapping the knot and nozzle through we're making this exactly as we would um, as if we were making a daisy flower. It's the same technique. So if you don't know how to do that, I have got a video and I'll leave a link in the description below if you need to uh, just refresh yourself on that technique. Doesn't matter how many um, loops you make, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to stop there, I think. I think I've got six there, okay? So we can just cut off the end let the air down, wrap that around a few times. You can leave it at that if you want to, or you can also tie a knot. It's just a matter of personal preference. And then trim off this excess. And just connect that cluster of loops into your gnome's hat, okay? We can bend it over a little bit more. So you can leave your gnome's hat like that if you want to. Alternatively, you may want to bend this over a little bit. So I'll show you how you can do that. You just need a little piece, a little scrap of 160 or 260 and wrap that 160 or 260 into the cluster there. Okay, so it's poking out here and then pull that down into the loops at the back here. So just bend that over, pull it down, pulling, 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 and then just wrap that into those bubbles there. So you don't want to be able to see um, the stretch on the 160, so just keep pulling until you can't see that. Wrap it around. You can go back up into the clusters there, wrap around and back down and back into that bubble. And trim off the excess. And there you've got a really cute little gnome. If you've enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one next.